Good morning, guys. Yes, good morning. And girls, good morning. Uh, it's a relatively nice morning today. It's uh, almost 70 degrees. The rain has stopped. Uh, still cloudy. And I uh, just got out of the gym. I took a shower. Um, had a nice little workout. Just had some uh, coffee. And I'm getting ready to do some laundry. Now, what I want to share with you this morning is a mental health tip and a life foundational principle. That is, start your day with self-care. Self-care. Shout out to Jenny B., one of our viewers. She brought this subject up a while ago using a parable that when you go on an airplane, what they teach you is if you're ever experience turbulence and the plane is going down or there's an issue, put the air mask on yourself first before you attempt to help others. And every day in life, you should treat that as such. Every day before you can help anybody else, before you can uh, do anything, you have to take care of yourself. You have to put your own oxygen mask on. How does that apply to me? I have to go to the gym. I have to have my coffee, I have to unwind, I have to do my laundry, I have to do the errands I need to do so that my mind, when I meet with other people, when I'm doing the different tasks of life, working, whatever, my mind is not occupied by the things I didn't do. Many times in life we get up and we want to avoid the things that we have to do for ourselves and we want to focus on either picking someone else up, doing something for someone else. Or just burying our, sand, burying our head in sand with work. That's not the right way. That's not the proper order. God is a God of order, not disorder. With a level of flexibility. Come on. But first step to your day is self-care. Get your ass up. Go to the gym. Go for a walk. Take a shower. Get your coffee. Now do laundry. Do organization. What tasks do you have to do today to put you in a good space? What I've seen throughout my life with different family members that have physical problems due to obesity or something else, or mental problems, whether it's because of OCD, whether it's because of anxiety, depression, or whatever, is these people uh, don't know how to do good self-care. And also, you have to discipline the mind. You have to accept a level of imperfection. You have to go to the gym without knowing where everything is. So this morning, I was looking for some basketball shorts in my car. Now, I only live in a car, and I couldn't find them. I said, damn. But I said, Sam, don't get stuck on the one pair of basketball shorts that you can't find. You have five other or four other pairs in your bag. Get one of them, get your ass in the gym, and start. Because you can waste an hour looking for one pair of shorts, and you have four other good ones that you can wear. Don't let your mind get stuck on imperfections. Don't let your mind get stuck on things that you can't control. Keep momentum in life going. The momentum of taking care of yourself well so that you're in a better space. Now, when I go to the laundromat, now that I've done my workout, now that I took a shower, now that I have coffee, when I'm at the laundromat, then I'll unwind and I'll you know take stuff out of my car to see where I may have misplaced my basketball shorts. But I'm going to be in a better mental frame of mind and I haven't wasted two hours of my life. I have learned that self-care has got to be the day's top priority. Why? Because when you don't take care of yourself well, you're not going to be a good worker. You're not going to be a good family member. You're not going to be a good friend. You're not going to be a good YouTube guy or girl or whatever. Self-care. Put the oxygen mask on yourself first. Then help your children, friends, family, whatever. Now, you know what I mean? Put it in context. I'm not talking about being irresponsible, but I'm talking about Every day, look in that mirror. Don't get stuck on the things you can't control. Don't get stuck on imperfections. Don't get stuck on things you've misplaced. Start. Go forward. Momentum. You're going to feel better about yourself physically, mentally, and emotionally. And that's what this is about right now, okay? This is about taking care of ourselves well. Why? Because if you don't do that, it doesn't matter what you do in life. doesn't matter if you live in a house. doesn't matter if you live in an RV. doesn't matter if you live in a car. Self-care. Number one priority in life. Keep yourself in a good space.